Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. On the last episode, we started building over by the lake. Now, it's kind of funny. People call it Crystal Lake. The game calls it the Hidden Lake. I'm just going to call it the lake. We have business to take care of. I asked you for names. You gave me names. And as of the time of recording, I have randomly selected from the names on the list. And I think I have spelled that how it was submitted. So thank you, Jacob Cloutier, for... Blaskovich. I'm guessing that potentially is inspired by BJ Blaskovich from Wolfenstein. And if any of you are old enough to have played the original old school Wolfenstein, not any of these newfangled ones with fancy graphics and things, then you would be familiar with that name as well. We're going to be doing uh, some kind of different stuff today, and we're going to build a raft first thing off the bat. Except I don't have enough fiber or enough hides. Well, I'm pretty sure I can take care of that rather quickly. I'm a little disappointed when I look at this guy over here, Red Dawn and Blaskovich over here, just because I'm not really, um, well here, let's, let's take a longer look right quick. 14,000 health. He lost so much health, 146% damage. He lost well over, I, I want to say he was at over 300. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. And this poor guy is only at barely over a thousand health and 15, you know, 159 damage. But then Mason over here still at least has a couple thousand health and his melee is, well, 270. I could have sworn he was around 300 some odd too. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm a little disappointed by those numbers. That's all, of course, thanks to one of the recent patches where things were kind of rebalanced around. And uh, I get it. You know, things need to change and I'm not going to complain about it that much. Just going to say I'm disappointed. That's all. But it is what it remains, or something like that. I need more fiber. Holy cow. Let's grab more fibers. Fibers. Need more fiber in my diet. There we go. That should be enough fiber in my diet. Raft me up, Scotty. We're going to build a raft. This is going to not be a gigantic raft building episode. Wow, that was a really convoluted way to say that. Let's try that again. This is not going to be a big raft building episode. Come on, raft. Come on. Now, what this is going to be instead go ahead and plop you down. I don't really need a big gigantic raft. Come on. There we go. There it is. I just need something I can drive. That's all I really want because I am really determined to get, oh, I don't know, a shark, an ichthyosaurus, something today. I really feel like we need some sort of water-based creature at this point because if nothing else, I need to start collecting a bunch of pearls. So, where are the water-based creatures? I am not seeing any. Ah, come on, where are you guys? Stop hiding. I guess maybe I probably need to go out a little further. I don't know. I'm kind of sticking inland right now, and sharks aren't really going to fit over here. You know what? Let's go over this way. Let's head over toward Dead Island. Or, I think as it's known, Carnivore Island. Oh, there's the pause. And go. Here we go. Yeah, the pause is noticeably longer when I'm playing under these settings. I rolled my settings back to the way they were because, quite frankly, the game looks so much better this way, and I just couldn't stand it the way it looked earlier. I, last episode, I just, um, I tried to go with it. I was getting much better performance out of it, pretty close to 60 frames in most situations on settings that were mostly up at epic, but, uh, nope, just couldn't handle it. Things looked bad. Not that they didn't look good, they actively looked bad. The whole shadows and things, man, those were just all messed up. Ah, crud. Well, I'm going to rejoin you later, because clearly this is just going to be me putting around until I can find a shark. I forgot to make something. We need a crossbow. If we're going to be playing in the water, we need a crossbow, because crossbow can... Nope, not melee. Range, because the crossbow can actually fire underwater. Yeah, not that that's... Uh, exactly news or anything, but that is why we need a crossbow. So come on, get me a crossbow, get me a crossbow. There we go. Good. All right. Now crossbow, you are going to replace pretty much everything because uh, there's no need for me to have this oh so lovely bow anymore. Can I make a stone arrow? No, I can't because I need fiber. Need more fiber in my diet again. Here, let's try that. I'm doing this for a specific reason. I, all my stone arrows are gone, so what I'm going to do is take my stone arrows, since I don't know of a... sure there's a better way to do it, but I don't know what it is. There we go. And I don't actually want you to be firing a stone arrow, so I guess that didn't matter. Where are my improved trank arrows? We're going to grab those. So let's just go ahead and load this bad boy up. 
And then I want to grab a couple of uh, just some regular narcotics. I'm not going to need much. That'll be fine. And then let's go ahead and go to where I left the raft because uh, I actually had Esmeralda out on it because I just thought it'd be kind of funny. And uh, I left the raft over here because she was much faster way to get back to the little hut so I could make a crossbow. Yeah, I ended up not doing much at night. I have a bunch of metal burning. That's about it because, uh, you know, it's night. What else are you going to do? I just couldn't really see very well. Uh, nope. Yeah, you, you kind of missed. I mean, I kind of missed, but you kind of missed. Here, come on. Over here. There you go. Let's try this again. We're going to park you on the raft. Okay. And you are not going to go anywhere. Good. Perfect. So let's uh, hop in the water here. I don't know if the sharks are still around. There have been a couple of them over here. There's one right there. Hello, sharky shark. Sharky. Ooh, you're level 20. There was a level 10 around. I'd much rather have the level 20. Not that there's any guarantee that I'm going to get either of them, but, uh, you know, whatever. Come here. Hi. I'm saying hello. Come over here, jerk. Hey, don't ignore me. Don't ignore me when I'm shooting you in the face. You're about to take a nap. There you go. Take a nap, buddy. Now, are you going to be a jerk and try and eat this guy? I don't think you are. Because I will kill you if you, you try to do that. Let's go ahead and load you up with regular crummy meat. And then I'm going to swim back to my raft. And I'm potentially going to not die. Okay. Yeah. Shadow up there was that guy. That's <laughs> like, uh-oh. Is there a shadow? Is there another shark coming in? Nope. It's just the one that's hanging out and really ignoring me. So that's kind of cool. Whatever. Ignore me as you so fit. See it. Whatever. Something. As you see fit. That's what I was trying to say. Wow. Okay. Let's move the raft. Because this is kind of in a crummy spot. Let's just move you over here just a little more. Uh, that really didn't move it. Because I actually didn't want to pick you back up again. Ah. Booey. Here. Now. Can I want to grab where are you there we go my two cooked prime meat that's all i have two yep that is all i've bothered to put together but it's two more than this guy has so here let's load him up on some cooked prime meat let's see what he thinks about that you are taming you have not eaten yet so let's give you that stuff you're actually going to eat fairly shortly here so that'll be good are you the level 10 shark because i'm just going to straight up kill you if you are Let's see, what are you? Yep, you're level 10. Although you can't get to me over here, so that's kind of the problem that you're having. As a matter of fact, I think I'll just leave you, because then when this guy gets tamed, he's going to end up attacking this guy, and that'll work and get him a little extra experience. What do we have going on over there in the distance? I can't find it. I guess maybe it's just some, some fish. Ah, it's just a blue screen. Ah, level 28, even better. I'd rather get that guy. Yeah, I'm not necessarily expecting to get a big war shark right now. This is... It's going to be what it is, but it'll work. So, come on. Eat. Eat, you silly shark. I want to see you go from zero to full in one bite. That would be hilarious. Probably not going to happen, but I would be on board with that just because it'd be less trouble for me. Look at that. That's kind of... It's kind of cool to get to see the bottom of... Well, not the ocean. It's not really the bottom so much as... Oh. I saw some... Get out of the way. I saw an oil. Some oil down there. What are you? That's the shark. Get out of the way. I'm trying to look at the oil. Oh, there it is down there. I see it now. And some pearls. I need some pearls. I said... Oh, hi. Oh, we're going to do this? All right. You're going to lose. I guarantee that one. How are you doing? Or you know what? Just because I can. Hiya! <laughs> Perfect timing. Ah, there we go. That is one dead Megalodon. Well then, here, you know what? Let's just go ahead and harvest some meat out of it. I need to watch my stamina, because um, I'm about to take a nap in the water, and that would be bad. Now, let's go ahead and get out of here, so I can get a little bit of stamina back, and not drown, because uh, taking a nap in the water is generally ill-advised. Hello, Mr. Piranha. Come over here. Don't you dare eat my shark. That's my raw prime meat. Get away. Fine. In fact... I shall chop you up with a katana as well. There's just something about that that I find amusing. Shouldn't be able to do that in the water. Where did my shark go? All right, where's the one that I'm taming? Oh, there it is. I thought that guy vanished for a second. I said, no way. Oh, that's mine. Um, hey, jerk. Jerks. Mega Piranhas are such jerks. I mean, look at these guys. 
Give me all your meat. Give me your meat. You are nothing but raw meat for me, buddy. You know what? Chop you up. Clearly, I should be using the katana to harvest because I am getting way more meat out of it when I do that. It does take a little more stamina to use, but that's okay. I have a level waiting for me. Let's go ahead and blast another one into melee damage. Level 61. Not too bad, I guess. So I have five raw prime meat. Let's go get that over to the shark ASAP. Where are you, sharky? You should be right over here. Come on. You're not dead, right? You're just taking a nap. Come on. Wow, oh, you're going to take forever at this rate. I guess I need to take a break and come back when this guy's done, because clearly this is going to be a while. And I guess I'm glad I grabbed some narcotics after all, huh? Let's go ahead and use one, just because. Yeah, there you go. That raw prime eats the good stuff. So I will be back in just a moment-ish type thing. I'm not going to stay in the water, because that'd be bad. And we have a shark fight. This probably isn't a good thing because it's going to be my one shark versus two other sharks that are going to be mate boosted, I think. So I need to get rid of them. Or I need to help. Kill the Mega Piranha. That's something. Die, shark. I don't want my shark to die. Come on. Come on. Come over here so I can help out. That would be good. I can take down a level 40 shark, I think. Not sure. Maybe. Possibly. I have full metal armor, black armor, whatever the heck it is. Something like that. Oh, man. My shark looks really messed up. Not good. Maybe I should go a different route and instead of trying to kill this guy... There we go. That's one of them. Oh, you. You are the one to kill. So maybe I should instead be trying to trank this guy. Stab! 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 Come on! I'm running out of stamina. I can't keep doing this all day. Come on! Oh, that was a waste. Oh! No! That's... You're a jerk. You know what? Then I'm just going to have to try and trank you without killing you. Because that's a bummer. Are you unconscious? You're not. Are you now? Are you unconscious now? How about now? Now you are. Good. Ah! Where's my raft? I need more stamina. Jerks. Well, I guess I'm going to be busy again. Let's pull out ye oldie katana. I'm gonna go harvest me some raw prime meat. At least there's a bunch of sharks over here, so I'm going to be able to get a bunch of it, but uh, I'm a little concerned. Oh, sorry. I don't want to hit you. You're actually not the one I want to kill. Ah, 84 health. Ah, crud. I almost killed that guy. That was bad. All right. Do you have anything interesting on you? Nah, not really. I don't really care about any of that stuff. I just want the raw prime meat. That's all I care about. And we barely even knew you. Oh, I should access your inventory because I definitely want that back. There you go. Um... Yeah, nope. Here. Might as well take all this stuff, too. All right. I'm trying to make sure I don't take a nap in the water here. Now, let's switch to the spear just to be safe. There we go. Man. This just is not going well. The water and I apparently do not get along. All right. I'm going to drop all of my raw prime meat onto this guy. There you go. Have a bunch of it. And you can have all of this stuff because let's just go ahead and blast some health into you. I know that's going to delay things, but at the very least, he'll be able to hold against a couple of attacks now, so that'll be fine. Never mind my own attacks. Someone else hitting him. Piranhas, other sharks, whatever. There you go. And here you go. Have some more. I'm probably about at the point I'm drowning, so let's go ahead and give him some more health here. More health. More health. More health. More health. More health. Come on. Almost. And that's going to be good enough. And now I'm going to leave him alone, stop drowning, and apparently go kill a bunch more time again. Any second now. Come on. You're going to do it. Do it. There we go. Good. You don't get a name because you might die right away. <laughs> All right. Got another shark. Man, that was... Um, what time is it? It is 3.46 a.m. Yeah, I basically just waited 
in fast motion, so I basically had the game on fast forward. And waited and waited and waited, and there you go. Finally got another shark. I say finally got another shark, because, uh, you know, last one died right away. Jerks. All right, don't get stuck, you. I at least want to make you get all the way back to base so I can try and create a saddle for you, because uh, I want to go shark diving or something like that. So let's make sure that we can get you back. We're going to be steering a little wide out here just because we are kind of in the, I don't know, kind of little uh, coral reef area or something. Water is not particularly deep over here. Seem to be doing okay so far. I haven't even checked your stats. I don't know what you look like. It's okay. Wouldn't mind picking that up as soon as that lands, just in case. In fact, I could show you one of those landed a while back, and I got myself those flak boots that you just saw there, some ramshackle flak boots. Those are actually better than the metal ones that we made the other day, so, um, you know, not bad. And since it basically uses the exact same mesh, then uh, it all looks fine. It actually blends together nicely, which is good. So, we're going to bring this guy back to base right over here, and then we're going to see what it takes to make a saddle for him. I think the saddles are available at level 45 or 50 or something like that, so I should be able to take the engram points, or use the engram points. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. To get a saddle. Come on, buddy. Swing wide with me. Swing wide. Over here. I am a little concerned about this guy being able to get close to home. I might need to build a little water enclosure sooner rather than later. And of course, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this guy over to the lake. That's kind of one of the problems with building over by the lake, is we can't really have any sort of water creatures, because then... Uh, there's no way to get them over there. And even if I did, where are they going to go? It's a lake. They can't get out to the ocean, so, uh, you know, they're kind of useless over there. But sharks are so awesome for harvesting prime meat. I mean, nothing is really... Well, you can... There are ways to do things, but one of my favorite ways is to use them to harvest prime meat because you can just go after a bunch of sharks and other things and you get so much raw prime meat that way. It's great. All right, how close can you get over here? Oh, beautiful. You get actually super darn close to the shore. That's fantastic. Let's make sure you are not wandering or anything like that. Nope. Okay, we're not going to name you just yet. Let's see, you got 1,400 health. You didn't really get much more. Um, 160 damage. Eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and run up here. Let's see if we can do this quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Megalodon. There we go. We're going to learn the Megalodon saddle, and then we're going to Mega... See, what do we need here? I know we need cementing paste. I need some hides and I need some fibers. I don't know if I have enough hides, actually. Now that I say that, that might have to wait until tomorrow because I don't know how many hides we have. I think I kind of took most of the ones that I had lying around. What do we have in here? Hides. Oh, no, we're going to be good. So we're going to take all of those hides. We're going to take a bunch of fiber. And then there should be a boatload of cementing paste in here. So we'll take all of that stuff. I think 30 was what I needed, right? Let's go to crafting. We're going to go to mega. There we go. Let's make a megalodon saddle. And then I'm going to dump all of the extra stuff that I don't need back in here because I'd rather have it nice and safe in storage. So 100 hides. Man, I need to go get a bunch more hides. That's nothing. And then uh, most of the fiber there. I'm going to keep a few of that just because I think that is helpful to have around. And then let's go ahead and wait for the pause while it saves the game. And then we're going to throw this saddle here on... The unnamed Megalodon. Like I said, I'll get around to naming him soon. I'm not asking for names. I'm actually going to name this guy because um, I haven't named anyone on this series yet. And I thought it might be fun for me to name someone. But there you go. We finally have Megalodon. We have some sort of water creature we're going to be able to get around. I don't know that we're going to go caving or anything like that anytime soon. But at the very least, it is nice for me to be able to get into the water so we can start getting some of the more mm, mm, useful stuff pearls, oil, all that sort of good thing. So we will be doing perhaps a little bit of that on the next episode, perhaps something entirely different. I don't know just yet, but I am freezing underwater because it is cold over here. So, wow, man, it is just really cold over here. Holy cow. Are there any pearls right here? No, of course there aren't any pearls right here because that would be far, far too helpful if there were. But I'm going to go ahead and head back up to the top here so this guy can get a little stamina, I can get a little water, and we will catch on another one. So don't forget to... Thumbs up, thumbs down, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and of course, leave me your comments because I like to see those and respond to them, and I'll catch you out another one. Until then, thanks for watching, see you later.